And we begin with that breaking news. District Attorney Yvonne Rosales says she will resign from her position. This comes after months of fighting a removal case brought against her in August. Rosales has faced criticism of her handling of the DA's office, her handling of the accused Walmart shooter case, and the hundreds of criminal cases that were dismissed due to inaction by her office. In a resignation letter written to Governor Greg Abbott, Rosales says she will resign by December 14th at 5 p.m. ABC 7's Dylan McKim has been following this story all day. He joins us live at the county courthouse with the details. Dylan. Yeah, Eric, that resignation letter was read aloud in court today during that hearing for the removal case of Yvonne Rosales. Both parties in that case have come to an agreement today. Yvonne Rosales promises she will resign from her position and in return, County Attorney Joanne Bernal says she will dismiss the removal case. But if Rosales does not resign by the deadline of December 14th at 5 p.m., the Bernal will remove her from office on December 15th that following day. Rosales herself was not present in the court, but she she did join the hearing via telephone and agreed to those conditions. Her resignation letter says second in command Salah George Alhana will take over the duties of the office effective immediately. I spoke with Omar Carmona today, the man who filed that petition to remove Rosales. I asked him about the announcement of Alhana taking charge for the time being. This was his response. I have no confidence in, in him either, but this is just for two weeks. I think uh, we've waited this long. Uh, but I, I want El Paso to know uh, definitely uh, brighter days are ahead for the criminal justice system. Um, it is going to get a lot better. Um, I don't know who is going to uh, come in uh, for the remainder of um, the term, but I am confident that things are going to get better here in El Paso County. Now, the governor will have to name the replacement to finish Rosales's term. And I learned something interesting today. I spoke with County Attorney Bernal at the end of the hearing. She tells me that Rosales will still be receiving her DA salary until the governor names her replacement. I asked her, would Rosales still be receiving her salary even after that December 14th deadline, after she's resigned? Bernal told me that the governor will have to name a replacement, otherwise she will still be receiving her pay. I reached out to the DA's office, both the spokesman Paul Ferris and George Alhana, to talk about these new developments today. I have not heard back at the time of this broadcast. Reporting live outside of the county courthouse, Dylan McKim, ABC7. All right, Dylan, and now we want to break down how we got to this point. Yvonne Rosales took office on January 6, 2020. She was elected just two months before that, taking over for longtime District Attorney Jaime Esparza. And then on July 1st of this year, the judge in the Walmart case, Sam Medrano, issued a gag order in the case. That stops anyone involved in the case from speaking about it publicly. Fast forward to August 26, when local attorney Omar Carmona filed a lawsuit to remove Rosales. He was motivated by the DA office's dismissal of nearly 1,000 criminal cases. Rosales also asked for Judge Medrano to be removed from overseeing the Walmart case. That hearing happened September 27th, and her request was declined. El Paso Mayor Oscar Leeser is speaking out about Rosales' resignation. He sent a statement reading in part, quote, This has been a regrettable situation, but I think it is far better to have reached a resolution sooner rather than later. It is my understanding that the legal process followed its course efficiently, and her decision brings this issue to a swift resolution, which is always optimal, end quote. And Stephanie, we are jo joined now live in this studio by local attorney Omar Carmona. Thanks for just taking some time to come in once again here and talk to us here on ABC 7 at 5. We heard from you just a moment ago talking about why you think things will get better ultimately. Uh, why is that? Well, from a defense lawyer standpoint, uh, I think this is a better day for my clients. Um, it is better to have a competent district attorney's office prosecuting cases. And believe it or not, that is for the benefit of my clients and, and many, many of the accused that are out there in the community. Um, also, on the flip side, there are individuals that are, are dangerous, um, that, that have been causing problems in our community, and we are still um, having to deal with these releases under the 3201 releases. And, and so hopefully with the new administration, we can get these cases screened in a timely manner, and, and, and this won't be a threat to our, our safety anymore. Take me back to August when you filed this uh, lawsuit to have her removed. Obviously, you had your convictions at that time as to why you wanted to take that step and do that. But now, months later, here on this day, uh, just shy now potentially of her removal if she doesn't, uh, does, uh, I should say resignation, come mid-December. Did you think that this would be the end result ultimately? I ultimately did. I did think that this was the end result and it was the right result. 
Um, I had been, uh, I represented, of course, as you know, uh, uh, Ivan Gabaldon along with uh, Denise Butterworth and Felix Valenzuela. And, and I called for Mr. Uh, Cox's resignation from the beginning. I thought the use of the death penalty was unethical. It was, it was egregious and, and ultimately found to have been uh, uh, vindictive. Uh, so uh, this, was, this has been building for quite some time, uh, but ultimately I knew this day would come. It, it's been frustrating, but I think uh, El Paso, we have better days ahead of us now, but there's going to be a new administration handling uh, prosecuting cases. And last time you came in studio, I think you, you talked about vindication, and that wasn't exactly the feeling that you were having uh, before. What are you feeling now personally, having gone through this whole process and getting this result? I, I agree with, with uh, Mayor Leeser that this is very regrettable that we're here at this point. Uh, but I, 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 I'm not celebrating in any way. Uh, I do feel relieved that I do believe that there are better days ahead for our community. I, I've always said that as a, uh, I'm more concerned as a father, given that my kids are growing up in this community. So I think we have better days ahead. But again, it's going to take a lot more work from a lot of people, defense lawyers, public defender's office, um, uh, prosecutors, judges, court staff and clerk. It's going to take a lot of work. So we are nowhere... Um, near safe where we need to be, but we're going to get there. Omar Carmona, thanks so much again thank for taking some time here on ABC 7 at 5. Stephanie? All right, Eric, thank you. And make sure that you download the KVI 8 News app. Our team sent the breaking news alert that Yvonne Rosales had resigned within minutes of the announcement.